All right, we're at the start of what's considered the El Nino effects. We haven't really seen them yet. San Diego, you got absolutely whacked lately, but others have remained kind of high and dry. What's the rest of this November look like? And what does the next three months look like as we head deeper into El Nino? Your forecast starts now. Welcome to Southern California Weatherforce.com. We have this radar satellite composite image, and you can see what's kind of rare, but not for an El Nino fall. You can see severe thunderstorms lining up from Oklahoma City all the way down into Texas, and that's our storm system that completely whacked San Diego a couple days ago. This storm system is pretty common for an El Nino fall, and you'll notice that out here in the Pacific, west of San Francisco, there is no ridge pattern. It's just a lot of clouds out there. There's a little bit of a storm that's gonna be moving into the Pacific Northwest over the next day or two, but there is no big ridge out there. So, the rest of the month, what's it gonna be looking like? Here's November 2015. What we're looking at is basically gonna be a pattern where the Pacific Northwest is more stormier than us. And it's pretty common with an El Nino kind of fall, going into December. Now the blocking zone is gonna be just to the west of our area, but the ridge of high pressure is gonna be well offshore where we'll get some activity moving into the area. Now, Northern California, you're gonna be just north of the blocking zone. So yes, storm activity is expected in your area rest of our area well maybe we'll get another storm system in the area but it doesn't look like that this month will end out really with a bang a lot of it's going to be in the pacific northwest still with that blocking zone in the area now as we move into december this is where el nino starts to take hold and in fact it maximizes around december january and february all the time so the blocking zone kind of shifts to the west and south a little bit allowing for a low pressure system to form in the gulf of alaska bringing in the storm track into all of Southern California, Northern California, and into the Pacific Northwest as well. So it looks like the entire Pacific Northwest is gonna be having stormy weather along with us for December. So this is what the pattern looks like. This is what I've been saying with uh, this El Nino. It's not like a typical El Nino in some sense. Now in January, we start to get that upper level low kind of just digging just to the south of Aleutian Islands in Alaska. And this is where I said it would kind of set up shop in the North Central Pacific. Blocking zone gets pressed into Hawaii with below average precipitation for those area. Dry in the Pacific Northwest as we get a split flow. You can notice the arrow moving towards the Juneau area and then the arrows moving towards the California area. In fact, all of California still remains stormy in January 2016. So two months of storms looks very possible with this El Nino. As we move into February, we start to relax a little bit and we get average precipitation. Now this is kind of uncommon for an El Nino, but this El Nino isn't like any other. We'll have sort of a break. I'm not gonna say it's not gonna be stormy. We're gonna have average precipitation in February. So yeah, storms are gonna hit, but I do think that December and January will be when most of the storm activity hits out of the three month period of December, January, and February, which is our usual El Nino type uh, month. So the trough does stay south of the Aleutian Islands, Alaska, and North Central Pacific Ocean. Storm track looks like it goes into California, but because it's a split flow, we have dry Pacific Northwest, average California, and then through the southern tier of the United States with stormy conditions in the Juneau, Alaska area uh, beginning to develop. So this is what February looks like. We move into the last of this forecast, which will be March. March 2016 looks like we still have that trough in the North Central Pacific Ocean and drier conditions with a split flow still in the Pacific Northwest with storm systems going up towards the Juneau area in Alaska again. And then that split flow, we're gonna be at the bottom of that flow jetting into California and then into the southern tier of the United States. So the blocking zone looks like for most of the winter, it's gonna be pushed into the Hawaiian area. So it'll be below average precipitation if you're heading to Hawaii. For the rest of the area, it looks like the storm track remains in the area. In fact, February may be drier than March. So what I'm looking at is February possibly being the average, 
March looks like it'll have more stormy conditions. Overall, it looks like average to below average temperatures uh, given this. But El Nino has not really gripped a hold of our area yet. Yes, San Diego, you got ransacked about a couple days ago, but it's still building. And in fact, November is kind of like the building kind of process. And then we peak really good into December, January, February, and of course, as you saw in the last graphic, March. So stay tuned to SouthernCaliforniaWeatherForce.com.